let's go and see whether the classes got generated under the class folder. Got it. So these, see, these are the classes which generated accordingly for this particular Java files. So now let's go ahead and uh, create our package. Like I'm going to package this these files. So in Java we need to create a jar file. Like so, I'll issue this command. So I am going to create a jar file and calculate a server side. And uh, this is the generated classes. I'm going to pass this classes. So all the classes file will be packaged into this. So under these packages, org access sample and uh, ws sample web service and uh, generator classes. All these classes will be packaged to one location. Let's see how it goes. It should generate a jar file under my root folder. So hopefully it does. I think successfully it does. It should create a jar file over here. Once I refresh this. Exactly. So calculator server side Java. So that means you will might have got one jar file here. So we have done a good part now. The next step is I have to deploy this to my Tomcat because that's the place where we need to deploy the service. So I copy this down. You need to move to your Tomcat folder. So before that, I need to stop Tomcat. Where's my Tomcat? Yeah. It should be over here, right? Web apps folder. So you have already access over here under we copied this in the beginning and now we need to go to access web inf and you have a lib folder under this. Paste it here. We have just compiled this calculator server side jar file and this jar file has been copied to this location. So all the web application will be going to web apps folder in Tomcat. So we have an access web application. Under the web application, we have a web information folder where we have a lib folder. And under the lib, we have created the calculator server side jar file. And now we are intended to see what it's got deployed properly. So another intention start the Tomcat now. So Tomcat got up properly now I need to refresh this folder because it might have deployed something to my folder no. not yet probably because it does not make any implementation right now I, I have one more stuff to do so right now there is no impact we just copied we have copied the jar file and uh, I have to deploy this to the Tomcat server. So that's the stuff which I forgot to do that. And uh, oh, we get, we need to do one more thing. We, we have to compile one client set Java jar file again here. Um, the jar file is your Calculate this, this. This is the class which basically invokes the server from a standalone program. So this is a standalone program which invokes the web service which you are going to develop. And uh, I need to compile this for that. And already we have a command which I have copied. So this what happens is calculator so binding. It will copy some classes from generated. All the classes from the generated on the cl calculator classes from the generated full package and put it into the server side it's a client side program so it created jar file so I, I need to issue this command here so it's simple got it so now we have uh, a jar file in place now one more jar file has got created all right the next step is we should have a uh, deploy this file by default you could see all our tomcat will be started in the 8080 port if they have a different port number you need to issue this command um, we need to say the port 
as a attribute minus p attribute and uh, 90901 9091 which is uh, anything probably people use different ports so here I have my port here and uh, I am going to run this from the command prompt it probably deploy I think I execute this from a source place because you could see that I'm going to deploy this using this deploy WSDD. It's under ORG generated. So if you go to our Java file, it's under source and it's under generated. So I should go to the source folder and run this. So you could see this will try to deploy um, file and it's done. I mean, so now we have to restart this Tomcat. Once the deployment process is done, we need to refresh the Tomcat. The Tomcat got up and running, I believe. Yes, there you are. And if I refresh this, there should be some changes in the deployed list. Got it. So you have your calculator got deployed. The prior to this, we have copied one service calculator server side jar file and we deployed the WSTL. So now, if if, if, if your WSDL is complete, so if you click this, you should be able to see WSDL file. Sometimes it's not showing up. No. I will open this in a different browser. this time it show you the entire WSTL file which was just deployed this is the WSTL file which we deployed just now so we could see the methods here operation methods subtract add and this is the two methods we have in the interface so this will show up only those two so because it, it, this is our interface right so this interface will have only two methods so these two methods will be there as a service so the service is deployed now now our intentions are to invoke this particular uh, service from a client program so let's go back and see the client program this is the client program calculate client and I need to compile this for this time so for that we need to set the class path again because you need to add this calculator server side jar file to the existing class path so I'll do it in a full shot because I already have these things uh, which we have already uh, set to the class path but I need to add this jar file to the current path so I just enter command and go to the command prompt and we need to set the class path got it the class path is set now intentions are to Compile the calculate jar. Calculate client of Java. So hopefully it compile. Thank you. Yes. Now we go back to the classes folder where you're going to run this, right? And we are running this calculate client. Just we compiled before. This file will give us a calculate value. So let's see what's there in the program. Um, calculate client basically it gives back you some methods we're going to invoke this calculate uh, dot add so basically it's an interface so on the interface you're calling the service the service locator class which we have generated using the command and uh, on that locator locator will give you the actual location and the service object will have 
the information and on that object you're going to get the calculator so it's a uh, simple steps and now we go to pass two values 15 and 6 uh, either you have to com uh, add and subtract these two values so we get it from the service and if you go to service class the simple calculator which basically does the actual calculation and which is now in the part of server side calculator dot jar file which we have just copied so this is the jar file which is copied to the server side and this is a client side program which we compiled and this two one is in the server side and then this is in the client side and uh, now I have a IMPL binding class okay, this is my calculator that's fine now let's see how it uh, get compiled you should get a value from this I'm just calling it yes you got it 15 plus 6 oh this is a hard coded value this is a hot coded value which I got but basically it is invoke the service now because here we have a hot coded value so we need to return this method this is an interface method so we need to do the steps again to get the actual value so either we have a we need to call this method from and compile it again this method simple calculator method calculator and we need to call this object which will return this values for you to pass these two values this class actually generated by so once we have done this hopefully we will get the actual values so let me save that and I need to perform some more steps I'll put this server down and I need to compile the jar file again I recompile the classes and then I will put this generator in Java class okay let's see how I compile this to the source folder jar file got it now I have to create a server side jar file issue this before that I will delete it for the safety because I don't want this server side program to be there delete it okay that's just created a server side program so you have a server side class and I need to copy this down to my tomcat web apps access web inf lib folder we have already one jar file there now i am pasting it in new compilation which have a actual method call and now i have to bring the tomcat up start the tomcat server hopefully it brings up properly yes now I need to run that program again which oh, I don't, I'm not sure whether I need to compile that okay this is our calculate client program we already be compiled let's see which should give us the actual values now it's giving you the correct values of 15 plus 6 is 21 and 15 minus 6 is 20 I'm sorry this is some calculation issue in the code like that you can change it later on I think I have done some mistake there 
I call the add method here. I need to call the subtract method. 